How does Flair do it? You know what, man? I was just wondering that uh, just yesterday I was looking at the new uh, commercial uh, that Ric Flair has, and uh, he still, like, got just as much energy. He's still just as quick wit. I mean, I can sit down and have a conversation with Ric Flair, and he's definitely coherent, you know, maybe even more so than I am sometimes. Hey, this, it's, no, I'm serious. It's just amazing um, uh, just to see how intellectual he still is, you know, um, at this at this stage of the game, man, I admire the dude, bro. I, I really do because um, to be um, a guy who is uh, definitely ain't shy about saying how, how hard he rode uh, and still to be able to talk about it, man, it's amazing. It really is. I mean, you know, it's kind of weird. He he's he's also like he's kind of transcended wrestling a little bit, right? Ric Flair has. He's you know a hip hop icon now in some ways. He's they they wanted him at the Triller fight just to sit there and be Ric Flair and yeah. watch a slap boxing. Match. I hope I'm like that, man. I hope they treat me like that. You know what I mean? One day. I mean, well, you already had, you already in the hip hop game, right, with Bad Bunny. But the, the thing with Flair that that was it was so funny when that slap boxing fight was going on, and he was like, "That's all you got? I can take that." Woo! You know, it's just, just egging these guys on. He's kind of like the new. He's like the new Hugh Hef in a way. You know how like Hef was just a cool old dude who was still oh. fly. And and he's all he's still all about the party. All about the party. You know what I mean? If it's a party, you know, going down, you know, um, no matter what it is, man, no matter what it is, it could be Wale's, you know, night, WrestleMania night, you know, Ric Flair show up, you know, Wale Mania, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and for that dude still to be, and you know, how many times I you remember I always say, you know, you got to know how to change the levels, you got to know how to go with the times. Ric Flair definitely has been one of those guys who have been able to keep up and understand what, you know, the, the next generation is doing and, and then say, Hey man, let me see if I can get a piece, of the, a piece of the action. You know what I mean? Let me, you feel, you feel, let me, let me see if I can get a little champagne you. wishes, a uh, little caviar dreams, bro. Just, just break me off a little something proper. Like, you understand what I'm saying? That's the way, um, uh, I try to roll too. I try to always put myself in that, in that, in that position of work. Yeah, you know, just like hanging out, you know, you know, with you guys, you know, Devin Air Night. You oh, know, yeah, that was fun. And all the young ladies, they trying to get with me. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I saw it with my own eyes. But let me have to uh, put my but 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 I gotta put myself in that in that um uh, in that realm in order for that to happen. You know, so I I, I stress these uh these old cats, man. Uh, figure out how the game works. Wait, can I say this is why Ric Flair has you know he has so much swag he's not even he's not even really aware of his rick flair drip i don't know if you saw this picture that was going around a rick i don't know maybe like six seven months ago he did an interview with steve austin on the uh broken skull sessions yeah and this picture started to go around i'm gonna share it so that we can all see it as well this was the picture going around of rick flair let's see here it is so i don't know if you if you can tell what's what's funny about this picture but if you look on rick's left wrist He's wearing a Rolex and the an Apple Watch on the same wrist. <laughs> Let's zoom in on that. He's yeah. got a Rolex and the an Apple Watch on the same wrist. Oh man! Just styling and profiling is Ric oh, Flair. Man. It's real, man. So, you know, you know what they say about Ric Flair back in the day. You know, they say that's the real boy there. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the real boy. And he's still, let I me mean, still that dude, man. You know what I mean? Just look at that photo there. You know, he, he got that um, that jacket playing real hard. You know what I mean? He's still, you know, intact. He got the, you know, the uh, the diamond ring on, diamond bracelet. You know, he's no matter what, you know, um, happens. You know, a bomb could drop, man. He's still gonna be Ric Flair. Yeah. You know, and that's the uh, that's the beauty of um, you know putting in the work and coming out on the other side and it, it, it being able to enjoy a little bit of the you know the fruits of the labor and, and the brother got a lot and he spent a lot of money you know what i mean tax man and, and, and took a lot of it you know ex-wives he'll tell you i mean how many was it five ex-wives something like that you know what i mean take took a lot of it but you, no one will ever be able to say that the nature boy rick flair did not enjoy this life to the Willis, um, uh, like one of my homeboys used to say, actually one of my cellmates used to say, to the utmost, baby. 
<laughs> that came from a cellmate? I didn't know that. <laughs> that was, was from one of my cellmates back in <laughs> to the utmost, baby. I used to like that. Hey, man, uh, Shavaye. That was a big shout out. Hey, guys, uh, stick around. You're in the Hall of Fame. We'll be back in a minute.